In this video for the SQL Fundamental Series, we will create the student team database that's used in many of the subsequent videos. So you need your Oracle account. I'll be using Oracle XE installed on my desktop computer. I will use SQL Developer to connect to the database and I will run scripts that are provided at the URL that's shown here. We'll create tables and we'll populate those tables with data. So I've already created a connection which you'll see when I switch over to SQL Developer. And you can review the previous video and it shows how to actually make a connection. This example screenshot simply shows setting up a, an account for a connection for an account called Suzy on a locally installed Oracle XE database. Once you connect to the database, a worksheet panel will appear to the right of your connection list. And you, again, you can download and unzip the SQL scripts that I will run at the end of this video. So here is our data model and this shows us how things will, will be built. We have teams, students, evaluations, evaluation items, and eval item scores. So in the one-to-many relationship, the one side has to be created first. So teams will be created, then students, then evaluations, and then eval items, and finally, eval item scores. So the script will be in the right order. Uh, but you should look at the script, I should say, because when you look at the script, I've added comments that will explain some of these commands in a little more detail. The main focus for the SQL Fundamental Series is not on Create Table, but you could learn a lot by looking at the script file. So we have create table as a statement and followed by uh, the list of columns being defined for that table and then any constraints. And this was also covered briefly in the very first overview or introduction video. The second script that you run will insert data. And so here we have an example of insert into you specify the, team, the table that you want to insert data into. Then you list the columns in the order in which the values will be listed. You can omit this row, but only if you know exactly, or only if the data values are going to be listed in exactly the same order in which the columns are defined in the table. So to avoid any issues with that, it's better to list the column names and then list the values clause that lists the actual data values. Notice that in Oracle, text data, variable character data is in single quotes. The last statement in the create table script also created a thing called sequence and sequence is what Oracle uses to generate unique values for primary key fields. So if you're using what they call surrogate keys, which means you're just having the system generate the IDs for you, then you would create a sequence. And this is an example, by the way, of a command that's specific to Oracle. The command to do this is not the same if you're doing something like this in SQL Server. So if you look at the create table script, you'll see at the very end the create sequence command, which I've repeated here. This creates a sequence and it starts the values at 1000 and this is going to be used for the eval item scores. Then the second screenshot here, it shows how you can grab that value and you may have difficulty seeing the highlighted section but there are three examples here. We're inserting an evaluation row and then following that for that particular evaluation which is eval uh, ID 206 we are getting the eval item score sequence value let's say that it's 1000 
here, then it would be 1001 here. So it's just grabbing the next value, always incrementing and never repeating a value. So once you've run these scripts, you will have data. And I'm going to switch over to SQL Developer and run the scripts. So for this particular video, I'm just going to copy paste from the script files into the SQL worksheet. So I've done a copy, now I'll do a paste. I've copied in a lot of lines. The grayed out lines are comment lines, and the uh, darker lines in blue and black indicate executable commands. And so I'll run these. Uh, and in SQL Developer, you have the option of running a single statement or running the entire script. And I'm going to run the entire script. And I see that my tables and my sequence have been created. Now I'm going to erase those. And now I have pasted in all the insert into statements to populate the tables. So I'm going to run all of these. And I can scroll through the uh, script output below in the lower portion of my screen and see that I don't have any error statements. And I can also look over here in the navigation, or I should say the connection pane. And if I right click and do a refresh on tables, I now see that I have tables. And I selected students. I can select the data tab, and I'll see that I actually have data. So I can see I actually have data. I'm going to take a quick look in the next video at the human resources database provided by Oracle and then we'll start working with the SQL.